My friends, my friends, Josh Powell here. Welcome to another day and another episode of Amateur Pool. Today we've got something different going on. My pool table is filthy. I haven't cleaned it in forever. I haven't even been covering it lately, so shame on me, bro. Today we're gonna deep clean it. We're gonna take the rails off and we're gonna bring you guys along with us. So let's get into it. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is clean the felt off all the debris. If you guys don't know what these are for, you better read a book, you know? That's how we keep score when we play. I'm gonna take off my donuts for practice. Got my man Jamel behind the camera for us today. I appreciate it, Jamel. You're welcome. Jamel, why don't you get in and give them a good look at this felt, man, so we can see how dirty it is. It's pretty bad, pretty bad. So now that we got all the debris off of the table, including the spot, we're going to brush it. Step two, we're just gonna brush all the, the crap off real quick. This just gets like the chunks and the debris off the top of the felt. Tell you what, we got a better idea and I'm gonna do this anyway. We're gonna take the rails off and I'm gonna finish brushing it when the rails are off. That way I don't brush everything into the pockets. If you brush it into the pockets, you can clean the table and then the balls go in there and pick it all back right up. All right, guys, so you got to have a socket, a 916 socket to take these rails off. Come over here. I'll show you what I'm talking about here, guys. So underneath here, you've got these bolts right there. See the other one right there? And the other one's down there at the end. You can just take all those off, and then the table lifts off, the, the rail system lifts off. Ta-da! All right, guys, we got all these bolts out. It only took us uh, 10 seconds through the power of editing. It's took a little longer than that, didn't it? <laughs> Jamel's gonna help me lift this off. This all comes off in just one piece, man. So he's gonna go down there, I'm gonna go down here, and we're gonna have lift off. Ready, one, two, three. Set it down. Here, hold it right there, let me grab a rag. Go ahead. That's smart. All right, let's finish brushing this off. Now we don't have to worry about brushing it into the pockets. Mm -hmm. um, and this next step, I'm probably gonna get a lot of shit for in the comments because it's a big debate, but I've always done it, never had any problems with it. I'm gonna put the vacuum cleaner on my table and I'm gonna vacuum it. Personally, when I do this, I set it to hardwood floor setting because I don't want the brushes to damage the felt. So the brushes don't work on hardwood floor setting and that may be the difference as to why some people do it, some people don't. Don't worry, we're done with the vacuum. I know a lot of people hated to see that right there. And if so, I apologize. Keep in mind, I am no pool table professional. This is just how I've always deep cleaned my table. So if you like it, cool. If not, don't worry about it. It ain't your table. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. Pow! This is what we got here. We got the PTC Q Silk Pool Table Cleaner. To be honest, I've never used this stuff before, guys. This is my first time trying this particular brand, so you guys are gonna see how it works right along with me. Let's do it. Chow, that's what comes in the box. I guess we don't need that anymore. Let's see what we got here. We got the bottle cleaner. We got a straw in case we wanna do some. Kids, don't try that at home. Microfiber towels, what we're gonna use to wipe it off. Bada bing, bada boom. Now the directions, what they say is, I got no clue, I didn't read them. But that's how I roll. We're just gonna spray it a little bit, not too wet. We're gonna wipe it, see how it looks. If we need to go heavier, we will, but we'll start slow. I don't want the table to really get wet. 
I just want to mist it. We're going to start from here lightly. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to get it wet really to work. This may work though. Let's see. Like some of these harder spots. I'm going to go ahead and get them. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get those wet. Yeah, on that rail line too. Yeah, on the rail line. Right there where we wreck. That whole area right there is pretty bad. So it's just meant to, it's, it will dry good though, right? This whole point. So I mean, it's made to clean felt, so it should dry without any residue, I would imagine. I wouldn't recommend doing this with like soap, just because when it dries, it may leave a residue on the table. Let's, let's see what happens here. Oh, I can tell it's coming up already. Oh yeah, I see that. Oh yeah, that's gonna look a lot better. I don't know if that's coming up. No, that one's some sort of stain stain. Probably little Timmy came over here and did something to my table is what I imagine on that spot. I mean, worst case scenario, I gotta get new felt, you know? <laughs> yeah, new Simonis diamond felt. You see the dots from where the balls sit? Yeah. That's all dirt from the balls that just gets on the table. Oh yeah, we can actually like, You can see a nine ball rack. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. You got a secret weapon. I got a secret weapon. Hey, you guys aren't allowed in here. Were you trying to get in my closet, little Timmy? Bro, I got important shit in here. You can't be getting in there. But I do have a secret weapon. You guys want to see what it is? Yeah. Simonis X1 cleaning system. I bought this some time ago and I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't use it very often because I don't think it works that great. It's just my honest opinion, but we're going to give it a try here. See if it helps with the cleaner. Guys, this is a hundred dollar tool, right? That Simonis says will clean your felt better than anything. I found that this 25 cent rag does just as good, if not better, you know? I hate to say it, because I bought this, I spent my money on it, hoping it would work great, and I'm unimpressed with it. But we're gonna give it another try. You know what I think will work better, actually? But the next thing I wanna do is clean inside the pockets real well. Now that I got this uh, rails off, Get down in there as far as I can go. Get all the dirt out of there. It's hard work, guys. I'm not used to all this manual labor. I say we speed this along through the magic of editing and cut to the next scene. That was way easier than having to do all that work. I'll tell you, I love the magic of editing, guys. My next step... I'm gonna clean these rails. I don't know if you see how dirty these rails are. We're gonna clean them up. Once we do that, we'll give the whole outside wood, composite wood, a wipe down, and we'll let her dry. We're almost there. We gotta put the bolts back on. All we did was set the rails back on. We still have to bolt it, but that part's easy. Let's get into this. Whew. One more thing I like to do here on the rails, guys. Don't be trying to get in my closet. Don't be peeking in my closet, little Timmy. Stay out there. This is a secret. Don't tell nobody. This is between us friends, okay? I don't want everyone getting, getting it all excited and using this stuff. Meguiar's makes a product called Quick Wax. It's basically a spray-on wax. I use it on the wood. It's actually a composite wood. I don't think Diamond recommends it, but I've been doing it for as long as I've had the table. Just give it a quick little... Pow, 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 pow. And it puts a layer of protection on it. So it sheds fingerprints and dirt better in the future. Ciao. Boys and girls, that's about it. Um, 
I'll put the bolts back into the, the rail system. I'm gonna let it dry and we'll come back when it's dry and show you before and after. All right, guys, that's it. That's a lot of work, you know. I'm not used to all that labor, I'll tell you. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I don't know if this is the right way to clean it, but this is the way I clean it, man. We do it thoroughly. It's the way I've been doing it. It's never damaged anything. So uh, if you got any suggestions, leave it in the comments. You want a short rail, as usual, links in the description. Follow me on Instagram, and don't forget to subscribe. Peace.